Metal Gear Survive is the answer to a question that nobody asked. What would Metal Gear be like without Hideo Kojima making it? And that right there is the reason I chose it as the next game I'm going to try to find something good about even though it was poorly received. So put on your tactical gear and get ready to take a very confusing journey with me through my emotions as I figure out anything, anything redeeming at all about Metal Gear Survive. Forgive me for what I'm about to do. It's really relevant that you know why this game was so badly received it wasn't exactly because of its quality. The Metal Gear series has always been in the hands of Hideo Kojima and everything that is good about Metal Gear came from his head and then was dispersed to his team and we have the series that everyone loves, Metal Gear Solid. Fast forward, Konami and Kojima, not so friendly anymore. Konami owned Metal Gear because they're the ones who, you know, indie gaming didn't exist back then. Kojima's out, Metal Gear stays with Konami. This game pops up. Wonderful. That is the reason this game is so poorly received. Not necessarily because it was bad, but it had no chance. It had no chance with people like me who respected Metal Gear Solid and Hideo Kojima equally. And it had no chance with really anyone. Nobody was happy that Hideo Kojima was no longer going to be making the series. Everyone loves Kojima, everyone's grumpy with Konami. Konami's like, well, check out our new Metal Gear game. Don't worry about who made it, no, no, it, we, it's a new Metal Gear. Rebooting. And we call it Metal Gear Survive, and in it you're gonna fight zombies, and you're gonna, they're gonna have crystals on their heads, and that's it. The whole point of this exercise was me trying to get over my own bias to find some nice things to say about this game, which I, off the bat, did not like. I didn't like it before I even turned it on. Like that, I didn't like it months ago before I even thought about buying it. I've never liked this game and I didn't even play it. Nothing close to a fair shot with me. So I wanted to set my emotions aside and see if there was actually anything to be celebrated about this game. So without further ado, here are the two things I liked about Metal Gear Survive. So basically, I'm going to be sending you to another dimension. The intro of this game is fun. After mountains of cinematics, I know Metal Gear is supposed to be a very storytelly, chatty game, but to front load that much cinematic, not okay. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna skip. I've already seen this. 1968. Okay, we're so once you get past all of that, there is an intro where your character procures a firearm and then proceeds to try to escape from a horde of crystal forehead zombies which is actually fun. It alludes to a much better game than what I expected. Escaping zombies with snappy controls and trying to get around them. And it was both tense and fast paced. That's exactly what you want out of a zombie survival game. Thought to myself, wow, maybe there is something to this. Maybe the bad press was just that. It was just bad press. Before I get into how that ended, I just want to say the intro of this game does feel like a good game is about to start. Of course, what happens after the intro, they take away your gun and they send you on fetch quests with a stick. And now that's more like what I expected. That's more like what I had heard about. There's this notorious pole that you just use to, it's like a broomstick that's broken. You just punch the zombies in the head with it. It's really weird to go from using a gun to using a stick. This isn't even a knife, it, whatever. I'm trying to stay positive for the purposes of this video. So I'm just gonna skip ahead about two hours of grinding. And talk about the second and only other thing. And that is this section where you're tasked with unlocking a wormhole machine. so that you can use it for fast travel, which let me tell you, very necessary. I didn't know there was fast travel in this game. So when I got to this part, I was thinking, wow, good. Cause I don't want to walk around this map. I don't know. It's too much desert. There's nothing here, but I could not 
for the life of me, succeed in actually completing the mission that I liked. Essentially the way it works is you're tasked with starting the machine and protecting it while it starts up. You set up barricades, zombie hordes are gonna come in from this angle, you know that going in, block them and try to prevent them from attacking your machine and overwhelming you and killing you. And I actually found that to be a lot of fun. It was like a tower defense puzzle sort of, and it was action-y and it was different than everything else I had been doing for two hours, which also nice change of pace at that point. Our apologies. With our memory loss, we were a little slow off the mark in informing you of this. I could not beat it. It was very difficult. I also wasn't willing to put much more time into it. By that point, I was already about two to three hours deep, but it was fun to try. I will say that. All that being said, there it is. Two things that I liked about a game that I didn't like. Nobody asked me to do this. Now I can say I tried this game. I gave it a fair swing. I still don't like it, but I'm glad I tried it. It really is just as fun as everyone says. If you like seeing me suffer through bad games to try to find good in them, do me a favor and subscribe to this channel. It would mean a lot to me. I would definitely take your suggestions. If there's a game out there that badly reviewed and you're like, Dan, I bet you can't find anything good to say about that game. Well, challenge accepted. If you liked this video, do me a favor and like this video. Make the act of liking match your emotion of liking. Let me know what you think of Metal Gear Survive. Did you try it? Did you like it? Did you actually think it was great? Also, if you hated the game, I'd love to hear that as well. We can relate on something. Other than that, I really do appreciate you hanging out and I'll see you guys next time. <sighs>